Russia began HIMARS style strikes in Ukraine. The situation is grim. Business Insider. Ukraine's air defense problems allow Russia to launch HIMARS style deep strikes far behind the front lines. According to Business Insider, Russia has begun launching an increased number of drones beyond Ukrainian positions, obtaining intelligence on the positions of critical weapons and facilities. These objects can then become targets for attacks by guided tactical missiles. The enhanced presence of Russian UAVs allows Russian forces is to pinpoint and destroy targets behind the front lines, senior fellow Jack Watling of the Royal United Services Institute in London wrote. Russia lost most of its drones for much of the war to strong Ukrainian air defenses, but Kyiv's air defenses are now vulnerable. Ukraine is trying to focus on intercepting missiles, aircraft and Orlan missiles that are wandering over the front line. Thanks to better targeting, Russia strikes behind the lines with Iskander tactical ballistic missiles and missile launchers such as the Tornado S system. These attacks are very similar to the Ukrainian HIMARS strikes. In recent days, Russia has managed to strike a Ukrainian Buck air defense system and hit two Ukrainian helicopters on the ground while refueling. There have been other notable strikes that Russia has long sought but rarely successfully carried out. Watling wrote, Russia was initially unable to carry out strikes like the Ukrainian HIMARS due to lack of accuracy, targeting capabilities and timely information. These strikes, as well as glide bomb attacks, further strain the Ukrainian army which faces constant depletion of resources. The changes come as Russia prepares the groundwork for a summer offensive that could put significant pressure on Kharkiv and areas around Zaporozhye before a push into the Donbass. Ukraine is waiting for additional assistance from its international partners to strengthen the increasingly weak areas of combat training, ammunition and industrial capacity. While Ukraine lacks equipment, Russia will begin to increase its advantages, Watling concluded. But there are things that only Ukraine can do. Watling said Ukraine needs to mobilize enough troops and create a training pipeline that would not only compensate for losses in its existing units, but also recruit enough units to manage their rotation on and off the line. This allows us to train troops and also rebuild reserves, he said. But if international partners fail to provide artillery, air defense, electronic warfare systems and other support, then Kyiv's forces will struggle. The outlook in Ukraine is grim. But with the right effort and support, Russia's summer offensive can be blunted, Watling added. The city of Sevastopol in occupied Crimea came under a missile attack overnight on May 15, with Russian media outlets reporting explosions and fires. Russian air defense units repelled a massive attack against Sevastopol overnight on May 15, the Russian-installed head of Sevastopol, Mikhail Razvozeev, claimed via telegram. Wreckage of an intercepted missile hit private businesses, Razvozeev said. No casualties have been reported. Explosions were heard in the city and fires are still burning near the Belbek military airfield, local residents told the Russian telegram news channel Astra. Astra reported, citing local residents, that there were about 20 missiles and that something is still burning near the Belbek airfield. Some 10 atoms were unleashed on the annexed peninsula in a massive attack. Despite the claims, Ukrainian monitoring group Crimean Wind reported, an hour after the end of the missile attack on the Belbek airfield, the number of fires in the aircraft parking area became many times larger. And the fires themselves became stronger. In an effort to bolster defenses against Ukrainian drone attacks, the occupiers have reportedly installed barricades across Sevastopol Bay. Authorities reportedly shut down traffic on the Crimean bridge amid the missile attack. Ukrainian forces previously attacked the Belbek airfield with Scalp-slash-Storm Shadow long-range cruise missiles on January 31, damaging at least three Russian military aircraft. In recent months, Ukraine has intensified its attacks on occupied Crimea, targeting Russian military assets in and around the Black Sea. At the beginning of April, according to satellite images, there were many enemy aircrafts at this airfield. We are talking about 30 Russian planes and helicopters. Among them are 10 Su-27-30, 4 MiG-31, 6 MiG-29, 3 L-39, 4 Mi-8, 2 Ka-27-29, 1 Su-25. In addition, the airbase has approximately 15 hangars where enemy aircraft can be hidden.